this very late 2011 Toyota FJ Cruiser has done just 59,000 kilometres since it was new. Comes in metallic silver with charcoal interior. It does have the optional white roof. It also has a tow bar, roof racks, and side steps. It's got it, another extra it does have is a reverse camera. It's also got navigation and Bluetooth. It's got the four litre six cylinder engine also used in the Land Cruiser Prado and it's absolutely reliable. It's even got three keys. They did not come in a diesel, they only came with the four litre petrol engine. It's got the five speed automatic transmission, low range transfer case, A track, rear diff lock, you can turn the electronic stability program off. So it's a proper off roader. There's the navigation and the reverse camera is just up here. 59,000 kilometres is all this car has travelled. I'm starting to see these FJ cruisers with over 200,000 kilometres. And it's nice that it's got three keys and has been serviced at Toyota. It's got the suicide door. So it opens up like that. It even has a rear DVD player with headphones. I love the silver. I think silver with the white roof is one of the best colour combinations to have. And look, in, they do come in all sorts of colours, yellow, orange. They're more a love-hate colour. Most people like the silver. It's got near new tyres on it. The back seats fold down. It's also got a rear mat in the back here. But what I like about the FJ Cruiser is it can go anywhere. You can drive it around town. It's got parking sensors and a reverse camera. You've got absolute reliability. And they're just a very interesting looking car. And I certainly think that the fact that it comes with a four liter engine in the Land Cruiser Prado is a great thing. You've got great ground clearance and the A-Track four wheel drive system is fantastic which basically uses the electronic stability program and ABS system to put the power where you need it. It is not a car that looks like it's been used off-road at all. See on, under here it's nice and clean. It's got headlight protectors, nudge bar. And I think it would have to be one of the best FJ Cruisers around for sale at the moment. And although it is a late 2011 model, the mileage is very low and it's got some great options. I also like this particular style of wheel. There is another wheel optional, or it may have been standard in, in the later models. It is discontinued, and the good news about that is if you buy a car like this, as long as you don't do 30 or 40,000 kilometers a year, you're still a reasonable amount of kilometers, it's gonna hold its value very well. With other cars that have been discontinued, we've even seen the prices creep up, which is pretty impressive. It's really unheard of, generally speaking, in the used car industry. But if you look at what these were selling for a year or two ago and, and what they're worth now, I'd say they've already started creeping up a little bit. Surprisingly on the freeway, the fuel consumption is more than reasonable. But a lot of people get, you know, get stuck on fuel consumption, fuel consumption. Look, fuel's one thing, but really when you're talking about a car like this, of this age, it's really the running costs. You could get a diesel 
Land Rover or similar and you may think I'm saving all this money on fuel until you get it serviced or until you have a problem with the turbo or a gearbox or something like that and suddenly fuel becomes completely insignificant. I've had Land Cruisers myself. And uh, for me personally, the petrol's always been the pick of them because it's smooth. And I do a lot of freeway driving and I find on the freeway I can still get a pretty good fuel consumption. But it's a very impressive car. I can't actually see a single dent, mark or scrape or scratch on the car whatsoever. So I think it's a car which really needs to be seen to be appreciated. And if you do have any additional questions about the car, you can call us in the office on 029569999. You can ask myself, my name's Philip, and we're located in Markville, only 20 minutes from Sydney Airport, or 15 to 20 minutes from Sydney CBD. Thanks again for watching our video and we do look forward to hearing from you.